This is a story not only about the difference between the city of Palermo and Catania, but it is also a story about east versus west of the island of Sicily, between Asian Carthage and the Greek cities, between the political active and the capital of the island, between cultural, political versus the first and the second city of the island being the capital. It is a subtle, sometimes not so subtle, during the Sicily derby, also known as Derby di Sicilia, this rivalry between Calcio Catania and SSD Palermo. Welcome to Rivalries Around the World, I'm your host Budi. Not only there's a difference between the rich north and the poor south of Italy, there's also a difference between the mainland of Italy and the islands. Sicily is briefly a beautiful island that has been conquered, taken, colonized by numerous powers in the past, from the Greek, Carthaginian, Norman, Roman, Arabs, French, etc. Besides, being Sicilian means laid back, very laid back, sometimes conservative, but slow. Everything is slow, even in progress. But also in language, cuisine and culture, they are totally different with the rest of the country. No wonder they do things differently. But there is a passion that unites the entire country, and that is football. The passion of the local city's pride is one thing, but representing a region and half of the island is another. We come on that later. So, first to the grounds. As mentioned, both teams are representing the island two biggest cities. If we go to the northwest of the island, we find the city of Palermo, the biggest city of the island with nearly 1 million people. Located at the Tyrrhenian Sea, you find SSD Palermo grounds in the heart of the city, Stadio Renzo Barbera, formerly known as Stadio La Favorita. It hosts 36, 365 seats. If we go 200 kilometers east of the island, there is Catania, the second largest city of 300,000 inhabitants at the Ionian Sea. Also in the city center, there is Catania's ground, Stadio Angelo Massimino, previously known as Stadio Cavalli, but was renamed in 2002 after former chairman Angelo Massimino. The ground called 23,266 seats. Both grounds hosted matches of the Italian national football team as well. So what about the clubs? SSD Palermo is an abbreviation of Palermo official name, so Saita Sportiva Dilettantistica, known as Palermo Calcio or just Palermo. Founded on November 1st, 1900 as Unione Sportiva Chita di Palermo. It is the first football club founded on the island of Sicily and one of the oldest clubs in Italy. However, it is debatable the club might be even older. Some say it is founded in 1898 but no original records are found. The nickname of the club are I Rosanero, the Pinks and Blacks, and La Aquille, the Eagles. The Eagles you find it also on the crest of Palermo. The new logo dates from 2019 and is very graphic. It, and it is a very graphic eagle hat, is a white eagle's hat and three pink black feathers within a black stylized letter P. The eagle represents the city of Palermo, as it is also part of the city's official coat of arms. The city eagles refers to the early families in Palermo. The previous logo is a shield with an eagle poised for a flight within it. And the previous official club denomination, U.S. Cita di Palermo, in the capital letters on the top. From its foundation, Palermo originally played with red and blue shirts, what is very common and very known color in more football teams as its official colors, but decided to switch to the unusual current choice of pink and black on 27th of February 1907. Nowadays, with the change of denomination to the Palermo Football Club, the color choice of pink and black was suggested by Count Giuseppe Arioldi, a prominent founding member of the club. He defines pink and black as colors of sad and sweet, also characterized by results as up and down as a Swiss clock. During the fascism times, Palermo had to change the colors for a couple of years in yellow and red, the city colors. A brief history, rarely they perform in the Serie B and in the Serie A, so it goes up and down through those two leagues. However, in 2019, Palermo incorrectly submitted the, uh, the Italian EFA with standard application by failing to provide evidence of a valid insurance policy for following season. A club trading with players without insurance 
is a serious breach in Italian FA policy. They've been excluded from professional football. A new Phoenix club was reformed and started in the highest non-league, Serie D. The honors of the club three times won us up in the Coppa Italia, the Italian Cup, and then won the Serie B Italian second tier four times. Some famous players of Palermo are Andrea Bellotti, Luca Toni, Bosco Jankovic, Fabio Grosso, Marco Amelia. Let's go in Calcio Catania. However, present name Calcio Catania is from 1945-46, the history of Catania is even older. Catania is the place where 1900s football entered the island of Sicily by English workers on cargo ships that brought the game from England to the docks of Catania and spread the football game throughout the island. For many associations and clubs and merchants, it grew to Calcio Catania. First, there was in 1908 AS Educazione Fisica Pro Capatria. Two years later, they changed the name to Unione Sportiva Catania. Soon during fascist times and reforms, the new club was reformed in Societa Sportiva Catania and named the name for one year into Associazione Calcio Fascista Catania. Soon after the Second World War, U.S. Catania merged with the Elefante Catania and later in 1946 with Virtus Catania, which eventually became Club Calcio Catania. Calcio is translated in Italian to English for football. It was also good, it was good Palermo changed their colors because the past colors, red and blue, are the present day colors of Calcio Catania. Red, blue, striped kit with blue shorts and black socks. The away shirts are full white with some red and blue, or in a yellow away kit. The crest of the club is an old brown football calcio. On the left of side and on front on the right side a red blue shield. On top you find in black on white calcio catania. Above the shield you see an elephant. The elephant refers to the merger with Elefante Catania after the war. Clubs honest they've been champions of the Serie B in 1945. Six times they became champions of the Serie C and champions of the Serie D. Catania is mostly a club that go up and down through highest tier, amateur division and everything in between. So some notable players of Catania are Pietro Anastasi, Adelmo Brenna, Guisep Favasori. So what about the rivalry? It is not simply a rivalry between the second and the large city of Sicily. It goes deeper. It is even on demographic and on cultural level a difference. Officially, you can draw a line on the island between Santo Stefano di Camastra through the eastern part of the Madonie Mountains, southward to Di Sata. If you both on either line, you probably more focus on the city of that region. So it is the west versus east. But why actually? Although Sicily has been conquered, invaded and colonized numerous times, both regions have been colonized or taken by different tribes and powers in the same time frames. In ancient history, the Greek colonized the eastern areas while the Carthaginians, Carthage, occupied the west. During Byzantine times, Catania was Christian, while the Arabs and the Normans focused their efforts on Palermo. Catania is more industry and there are more commercial firms, which is more an economical heart and center of the island. Palermo is bigger and hosts a local semi-autonomous government, a more cultural and political center. Also, Catania is more connected with the mainland because it is closer to the mainland. The entire island is in general a lot slower and chill. There are differences in cuisine and in accent. The western sounds slower, guttural, and the east quicker and clearer. Also, the Mafia was more present and dominant and felt in the West. These roots from ancient times transformed into a regional divide, when it is automatically channeled into football, where the local pride is at stake. The rivalry hasn't played that often because both teams were in separate divisions. The rivalry extended throughout the different football divisions from the Serie C, B, a and the Italian Cup. It is often played in the Serie B, the last one in the Serie A in 2013. The rivalries are electric and there are a lot of hostilities and violent incidents. The hostility is not limited to fans going and fighting each other. The clubs and players themselves feel it too. There is a banner at Palermo training ground reminding players to win a match against Catania is as important as winning a Scudetto. Players are well aware of how important fixture is and the responsibility that the players have to win the match. So some rivalry anecdotes and stories. In September 1959, Palermo were winning the derby 1-0. As the match approached the final minute, the Catania players decided it was too dark to continue playing and walked off the pitch, forfeiting the match but not having the indignity of losing within the 90 minutes. In 2001, Palermo players found their kit stolen from the dressing room at Catania Stadio Ancelo Massimino Stadium. 
The extent of roofing between the two set of fans can be seen by the phrase Forza Etna, which is often scored on the walls across Palermo by the fans, encouraging the volcano, which dominates the Catania skyline, to do its worst. There can be by many supporters across the world that are able to appeal for a natural disaster to wreak havoc upon the White House and would also wish it to. Violence is a common place between fans on Derby Day. Often the matches ending up in riots, brawls and fights. In 1999 a fan was shot and three years later Palermo fans were targeted as the coach they were travelling in was stoned by Catania Ultras. But the darkest page in Derby history, even maybe in Italian football, was the fixture in February 2007 in the Serie A. Visiting Palermo fans in Catania were unable to gain access to Catania Stadium until the second half and start fighting outside the ground and the violence spread inside. Palermo fight to their way past Catania others to their section. A controversial goal by Palermo started throwing smoke bombs and firecrackers on the pitch. In response, the police fired some tear gas canisters in the stands. Because of that, the referee has to suspend the match for 40 minutes because tear gas was affecting the players. After the final whistle, Palermo won 1 to 2. Outside football stadium, Catania fans started to ride with the police. During these rides, one police officer died. In the aftermath, the Italian FAQ decided to cancel all the football matches on professional and on non-league level. A special law made it possible to require Italian mayors and football clubs to meet specific safety standards in the stadiums. These have been ignored by most Serie A and B clubs. Other kind of measures include ban on rockets, fireworks and firecrackers at sport events. The prohibition of night matches for the entire month of February 2007 and allowed the police force to precautionarily ban suspected hooligans from attending football matches. Palermo fans weren't allowed to the next away game in Catania and the football club Catania has to play the matches behind closed doors on neutral ground. Banning the fans was lifted three months later during the final two home games of the season only for fans and groups that has nothing to do with the violent clashes on that dark day. However, the derby is still intense and electrifying. Years after the 2007 game, incidents still happen. Hey, different shirt. Well, my bad. I forgot to film this section and I figured there was something missing during editing this video. Well, let's go to statistics. The first meeting was in the Italian Cup, Coppa d'Italia, in 1935. Catania won 1-0 against Palermo. One interesting match was on May 23, 1982. Palermo won away by 0-1. The goal was scored by Montesano. A Catania player, Renata Miele, was during the game attacked by a Palermo fan. As penalty by the Italian FA, Catania won with an administrative victory by 2-0. So far, there were 84 matches between the teams. Catania won 20 times and Palermo won 25 times. 39 times it ended up in a draw. Palermo's biggest win was in 2004 by winning 5-0 in the Serie B. Catania's biggest win was in 2011 by winning 4-0. So, there was head to head. Back to the original video. So, the final whistle. So, in conclusion, the difference between the north and the south of Italy is big, but if you look closely on the island of Sicily, it is maybe even bigger. If you put those violent incidents aside, an interesting game of passion between those cities, a cultural and even a demographic divide. And when you are on vacation in the south of Italy, I would definitely recommend visit one of those clubs and even the football derby. Although the west and the east are different, there's unity. People of Sicily as a whole share the same thought feeling to being Sicilian. And let's hope for the future the rivalry will be calmed down to normal standard as people in Sicily get along with each other also in football. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, post them below in comments. And I want to ask you what kind of minor or unknown derby I should talk about in the future or in the next episodes. So let me know in comments. And for now, I'll see you next time in the next Football Rivalry.